So just so you all know, if any of you really, really, really like unicycles, I know for a fact that Dawn is single. So. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> my embarrassing moment wasn't really a moment per se. I have a really unfortunate um, disease, I guess. It's called Peter Parker syndrome, and that just means that no matter how well-meaning I am, I'm going to end up having really horrible luck, and it's going to, like, bite me in the ass. So... <laughs> A couple of years ago, I was going through kind of a hard time, and I decided I'm going to try new stuff. I'm going to be a better person. Don't try new stuff. <laughs> don't, don't, don't try new stuff. Like, I went really radical. Like, I shaved my head. I stopped wearing shoes. <laughs> and then I just started carrying all these bags everywhere because I really wanted to be prepared for life. So I had, like, this bag for, like, yoga, and I had this bag for working out, and I had the bag for my shoes. Every time people told me, you're in a building, you need to wear shoes. <laughs> and then I had, like, my, my bag for all of my schoolwork and then all of the books in case I wanted to study. I was prepared. Well, this year, I, two years ago, I decided that I was going to start taking German, which is a really bad idea because I took four years of Spanish and I still don't know the language. <laughs> So I decided that, you know, if I'm going to learn German, I need to go and have someone to talk to German with. I need to practice. I need to have, like, flashcards and be able to have conversations. So I decided to pick the person I want to study German with. And I turned to my right to a guy I basically exchanged about three words with. They were really positive, happy words like, hi, and so you took German. So <laughs> I didn't really figure this out until about, like, literally a week ago, that when you ask someone to study, it's about the equivalent of asking someone out. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I turned to this guy next to me, and I'm like, so, do you want to study German sometime? And he was just, no. <laughs> it, it was a little bit more awkward than that. It was kind of like, N -n no. <laughs> so, you know, it's the end of class. That's good. So I'm packing up all of my things, all of my many, many bags, and I set off to walk back to my dorm. So I lived in Niskanen, and if you know anything about NDSU campus, like, here are where all the normal dorms are, and here's Niskanen, like eight to 10 blocks away. So I start walking home, and you know, I'm just walking along, bare feet, shaved head, seven bags. I. <laughs> I kind of look like a cross between a hippie and a hobo. <laughs> and, you know, I realized that the guy that I had asked to study with me is walking just like a couple of feet ahead of me. So not to refer to him as like that guy the entire time, I'm going to call him Frank because it's actually going to be more embarrassing to me than to him if I tell you his name and he finds out. <laughs> so he is walking ahead of me, and I'm just kind of like, no, I'm, I'm not really going to walk up to him and be like, hey, because we had that really awkward conversation, so I just follow him. <laughs> For eight blocks. Because apparently, he lives in the apartments, like, past Niskanen. And I'm like, okay, my dorm's coming up. I'm going to cut through this. He cuts through there. I am following him all of the way home. <laughs> And it's, it's really unfortunate because I have Peter Parker syndrome, but I also have this other disease called I'm really slow to pick stuff up. So I didn't really get it that we were going to do this like every single day. <laughs> so <laughs> Peter Parker syndrome again. German isn't like a Tuesday, Thursday class. It's not a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. This is a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday class. I was following him home four days a week. <laughs> So, I mean, eventually it's getting a little bit creepy for me, and I have the brilliant idea of being like, yeah, hey, I, I saw you walking home. And I, I bet he kind of noticed that I had been following him, because after that he just kept walking faster. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this goes on for about a month, because I'm really slow on the uptake. 
And it gets to the point where I'm just like, you know what? I'm sick of following this guy home. I'm really tired of it. I mean, I always stay like a couple of blocks behind and he knows, he knows. Even when I walk on the other side of the street, he knows. <sighs> so I'm like, you know what? I, I have all of these bags. I have like a yoga bag and a workout bag. I'm just gonna go over to the wellness center. I'm gonna do that. So I walk over to the wellness center. Everything's going awesome. I don't see Frank anywhere. I hand in my card uh, to the people at the wellness center and it, that's the day I found out Frank works at the wellness center. <laughs> uh, so we, we haven't really made eye contact since. Uh, sit down at the same computer or like side by side, that screen is the most interesting thing either of us have ever seen. We don't exchange words. Um, but it's really lucky. I think my Peter Parker syndrome is dying off a little bit because about uh, maybe three weeks ago, we get an order at Jimmy John's and I work at Jimmy John's too. So we get this call. <laughs> we get this call from this girl and she's like, hey, I, I want to make a, an order for like a week from now and I want this to go over to the wellness center and I want you to write on the sandwich, I'll see you in five days. Because it's, you know, the girlfriend to her boyfriend. It's going to be break soon. And um, so it was actually my friend who took it, which is how I figured out, like, I dodged a bullet. Because it was going Frank. <laughs> and I'm really, really sure that if I would have delivered the sandwich and he would open it up and seen, see you in five days... <laughs> At that point, I'm pretty sure he just would have called the cops. <laughs> yep. Thank you. 